Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. This week's lesson, I'm just going to show you a quick little new angle on the mandolin to show you how far through the strings the pick goes. So we're going to zoom in here and give you a sense of, at least for me, how much kind of attack I'm giving the strings using the pick and how deep into the strings they go. If you're looking for more tune-based lessons and music-based lessons, check out mandolessons.com where I've got tons of lessons, almost 300, I think, now lessons, uh, free to watch at any time. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel where I put out new lessons every single week. The lessons will always be free. That said, there's a couple ways to donate, which is always appreciated. You can become a Patreon member and get access to lessons a day early, patron-only live streams, things like that. Always a lot of fun, but totally voluntary and not required. So let's jump into that new angle and show you how far through the strings my pick goes when I'm playing. So I actually came up with this angle uh, in one of my Mando Lessons live streams, which I do most Saturdays at noon Eastern Standard. Somebody asked this question, how far through the strings does your pick go? And I was trying to explain it and then realized I could kind of play it like this. So this will give you a sense of how far through the strings my pick goes. Um, and it's, it kind of hampers my ability to play, so I'm not going to be the most musical ever, and it's not going to be the most musical examples, but uh, I'll give you a sense of what it looks like. And you can see, you know, when I'm holding my pick, it kind of bottoms out just the way that I'm holding the pick about there. It's about as deep as it can go before my fingers hit the strings. Um, but I'll play a little bit, and it doesn't matter whether I'm picking melodies. Um, playing chords. So as you can see, the pick isn't going that far through the strings. If it's really going through a lot, it starts to grab the strings themselves and it kind of hampers my ability to play smoothly. You know, that's too much. Um, you can also see a little bit of how I tend to angle my hand in proper technique. You can learn more about that in my beginner series. Um, but, you know, the pick isn't going straight into the strings like this. I've kind of got it rolled a little bit to roll over the strings. And it's not pushing that much string around. You know, it's really just a centimeter or so through the string. So that just gives you a little taste of a different angle of what it might look like to see kind of a question that I get a lot of how far through the strings that pick's really going. I hope you found that helpful in some way or another. Again, lots more lessons over at mandolessons.com. New lessons every single week here on YouTube, so subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much to those who donate, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.